Howdy, welcome to the show. Uh, it's Tom Ackerman in the shotgun seat because Haley's celebrating her 50th birthday as she becomes a member of AARP. She's at home filling out her card. That's right. To membership. She's wondering why she's Congratulations. Sore. Yeah. <laughs> welcome to, uh, she, she's 30, but you know, that's that for me was when I realized I was no longer a kid when I injured myself. I remember I sprained my ankle around age 30. It took me like six months of convalescence. Yeah, you, you, just, you don't bounce back as fast anymore. No. Just wait, just wait till you hit 40, Haley. Yeah. Then it really starts falling apart. Yeah. All right, so anyway, Tom is here, and uh, we've got uh, Chief Weathers coming out a little bit later. It's our yeah, first conversation exciting. where we get to know him, mm -hmm. see what we can uh, benefit from a relationship that we're going to have with this guy, Tom and I. Tom needs help. <laughs> and uh, also, we'll, we'll tell you some things to be aware of, uh, because Heather uh, from the Better Business Bureau is out there as well. Oh, yeah, so Heather Clary. Yeah. Always got to be uh, wary of some scams. So, Thomas, you're, anything new for you, by the way? No. Uh, I got to use my mug today. Oh, good. And I didn't even have to move the tape. That's amazing. So <laughs> yeah, it's just good. working out perfectly. I was trying to think back when the last time I filled in on here it's been was. a while. It's, it's been a while. So yeah. what have you guys been up to? Well, on Easter yeah. yesterday, we did that. Yeah. Matter of fact, uh, it was also, along with Easter, it was April Fool's, by the way. That's April right. 1st. And that kicks off today's hot topics. Hmm. It was sort of a silent hot topics, wasn't it? <laughs> okay. Not the I think there was supposed to be some noise. There. I think it was supposed to be. Uh, let's start with this. A Pennsylvania mayor, he played a prank about poop. Okay. It's a new ice cream shop called the Pooper Scooper. The building included a poster of chocolate ice cream emoji. Of course it did. Of course, it was an April Fool's joke. There's no ice cream. The mayor owns a business in the building, though. But I, I guess that was pretty elaborate for him to go through that. So he put the poop emoji out and pretend like it was an ice cream store? Yeah, I'd, right. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. Did anybody go in? No, I don't know. Matter of fact, do we have that? Do we have? Do we have? You know, because I, I'm, I'm fond of the April Fool's jokes on occasion, mm -hmm. as you well know. Oh yeah. I, I've gone through a litany of them. Uh, for instance, uh, we the first one I believe was, and it's always with my say, my buddy David West from Nicholasville, who's now oh, the, that's right, cause the it, county judge. It didn't fall during the week this year. So yeah. You couldn't well, it hadn't fallen in the last yeah. two years. Was the last Saturday year? or oh, Sunday. Yeah, that's right. Um, so uh, was the spaghetti farmer. That was my favorite of all of them. Really? That yeah. was the first one. Yeah. And then we did... Um, Although the, the moving company was pretty good, too. Well, just hang on a minute. And, and then we did the... Um, uh, oh, yeah. The uh, uh, underwater submarine dinner cruise. <laughs> the three decommissioned <laughs> submarines. Yes, yes. The uh -huh. Winona, the Naomi, uh -huh. and the Ashley. Yeah. Uh, we've, we've done the Fupper, which was a take on... you got to be careful uh, when you say that one. Uh, Uber, <laughs> where they make you yeah, a bologna we, sandwich in the back seat. <laughs> yeah, remember? They, yeah. 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 Oh, Hello? the gravy pipeline. Yeah. Oh, the gravy pipeline. <laughs> that, yeah. Well, that was with the governor. Remember that? The governor <laughs> yes. came in and helped yes. us do that. Yeah. But here's the one we did uh, a couple of years ago. And, and of course, you know what? Like, Tom is pretty good at this. But Chris is horrible. He cannot keep a straight face. Let me show you no, why. No, he why, can't. Here, this is from we about can move years it ago. for you. Instead of uh, using uh, trucks, you guys are saving money, and, and you sell your client money as well. We save clients money in many different ways. Uh, we don't use the traditional type moving trucks. We'll use a little van because we can not only move your possessions with it, but we can also take the guys back to their... Uh, to their retirement homes, wherever they need to go. All right, now we're going to have uh, more with uh, Gout Moving, and you can learn more about these guys at uh, GoutMoving.com. That's correct. Okay. Gentlemen of United Transportation, All Gout right. Moving. We'll have more with uh, these guys coming up in a bit, Chris. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. See what I'm working with there? I mean, again, I just needed him to play it straight. Don't don't give it away because I'm trying he, to sell this he, he thing. He can't. It's, and he it's cannot. physically impossible yeah, for him. He breaks down. <laughs> All right. Well, that's good though because if they weren't funny. Oh well, no, yeah. I want them to be funny. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. that one year it wasn't so funny. Remember the year I said the state was going to confiscate your dog, and make sure <laughs> it had remember, a uh, had a shots, and then oh, people got oh, yeah. upset. Ex I said they yeah. was going to give you a loner dog. <laughs> So the kids would have something to play with for a couple of days, so they bring it back, but people, you know, they lost their minds. Yeah, I could see that. Your news director wasn't too happy with me on that. He's never happy with you. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> hey, what's this about, Tom? You read this Oh, one. yeah, my turn. Now, yeah. Comedian Jim Carrey is channeling his artistic side. 
I'm sure you've seen something about this on uh, social media over the last year. He's painted a series of political portraits mocking Trump and even old Mitch McConnell. His latest creation features a portrait of Trump screaming in a bathrobe and eating two sc scoops of ice cream. Uh, of course, Trump last May told a magazine he always gets two scoops with his dessert while everybody else gets one. So caringly, jokingly pitched his art to the Smithsonian National Portrait Gallery. They, of course, house portraits of all former U.S. presidents. I don't think that's going to make the cut. No. Probably, <laughs> probably not. <laughs> that right that's there. sick to say. <laughs> probably. <laughs> probably not. Yeah. Okay. By the way, uh, details for the marriage of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. That's her name, right, Jesse? Meghan Markle? Meghan what, did you, what did you call her? Uh, Meryl Marco, which was <laughs> David Letterman's divorcee. You didn't call from, her yeah, Marco, so No, I didn't do that. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, here's the, the price tag. It's an, an estimate for that celebration comes with a $42 million price tag for wow. that wedding. That's Royal family line. hasn't been forced to disclose what they do or don't pay their suppliers. It's widely known they pay very little for their fleet of Range Rovers. They are leased to the Royals by the company as part of a specially reduced VIP deal. But if I'm a taxpayer... But again, that's the difference between us and the Brits. It is inherent in our DNA to be rebellious. We don't put up with that nonsense. Well, we used not to put up with that nonsense. I don't know anymore. It seems like we'll pay for everything, but I'd have been upset if that thing's going to cost me, just a common folk, $42 I'm just, million. I'm, dollars. I'm, just, I'm, like, I'm letting you go on your old man terror here. Well, just come on, rolling. Tom. I mean, you're okay with that? Huh? I'm not British. I well, that, I'm, I'm just, I, I know you're not, I mean, but I'm just... my family's from Wales, somewhere far yeah. back, but yeah. 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 Probably related to Edward the Longshanks. That's it's very possible. Yeah. Look out. The, uh, the Museum of, listen to this, the Museum of Selfies is capturing the art of the smartphone self-portrait. <laughs> now it's a museum. Right. Open for a limited time on Sunday, interactive exhibition explores the history and cultural phenomenon of the selfie. Also features fun facts, for example, women take pictures of themselves more than men. The Museum of Selfies. That's Self true? Well, for some. The Museum of <laughs> Selfies is open to visitors now until May 31st. So you go to the museum and take a selfie? How often do you take a selfie? I, I don't know. I think I've maybe taken one yeah. or two. <laughs> I'm not. Why did you do it? I'm trying to remember why. Well, you must maybe have, just to so see how it worked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I, that's right. I took one with, one with my daughter. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, to me, like that's fine. If, you're, if, you're, yeah. if you are in a relationship and you're capturing a moment, mm -hmm. that's one thing. I'm talking about people by themselves. I don't think there's anything wrong with them. I just think that some people tend to go a little... Well, overboard. now, yeah. uh, psychologists will disagree. They say the more uh, selfies you see of somebody on Facebook uh -huh. by themselves, the more either psychoses or narcissism you're dealing with. So let that be a warning for you. If you're thinking about being in a relationship with somebody, you go to the Facebook page and they got nothing but selfies, get out. What if they both have nothing but selfies? Maybe, well, then they're maybe, perfect maybe for one another. Work. It's yeah. a match made in heaven. It could be. Hey, did you hear about actor and former California yep. Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger? He's in stable Get condition. Get out! <laughs> Get to the chopper. <laughs> he, uh, he underwent heart surgery. He had a valve replacement on Thursday. He's 70 years old. According to the actor's spokesman, it was necessary because he had a valve replaced in 97, and, of course, it was worn out. And his first words... I'm back. I'll be uh, back. Yeah, he's back. Uh, celebrity news site TMZ described the procedure as emergency open heart surgery and described the catheter valve replacement as, quote, somewhat experimental. I don't think they usually use like a pig, mm -hmm. pig valve. Yeah, something. I believe that's correct. They had, uh, they were interviewing um, Sylvester Sloan. Yeah, I saw that. Earlier this morning, and he was mm -hmm. talking about how they both love to smoke, smoke cigars, cigars, and Arnold said he's not giving it up. Heart yeah. valve or no yeah. heart valve. Yeah. So. Well, some things you can't Trump give up. And, and I, people, I don't blame him. Hey, he's 70 years old. He said, yeah, I mean, you made it this far. <laughs> what, what's the point? It's, and, it's gravy from here on out. And I right? think his problem was a congenital. So he was, it was a birth defect. He, oh, he, okay. This wasn't something that was caused by cigars. Yeah. This was something that he had to deal with no matter what. And that's, it's kind of like a hip replacement, I think. And, I mean, they work, but they only right. last it was for supposed so to, long. Yeah, he was you right at his You only get so many years out of him, yeah. Yeah, he... I think 10, maybe, and he, he had stretched that yep. past. So, yeah, good luck there, Arnold. Um, this is a sad note. Emmy-winning producer Stephen Bochco, I think that's how we say his name, has passed. Mm -hmm. His boundary-pushing series like Hill Street Blues, NYPD Blue, they helped shape modern television drama. He was nominated for an Emmy 30 times throughout his career, won a total of 10 Emmys. 
His personal assistant said he died Sunday after a battle with leukemia. He was 74 years old. That guy really created what we watch now habitually on Netflix and Hulu and, and all those shows that are sort of have a hard edge to them. No, shows didn't exist like that before this guy came along. You want to explain to the millennials what, what those shows were? Because none of them have seen them. Well, they they had really dark scenarios. Yeah, Hill Street Blues. It, it was yeah. sort of a realistic. We're, it, it we're old enough realistic. that we grew up watching it. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Um, but it was more of a gritty portrayal. Mm -hmm. It wasn't Dragnet. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah, got rid of the kind of campy, <laughs> yeah. cheesy humor. It wasn't none of that. Just, yeah, it, was it was like, was oh, my serious. goodness. Yeah. People, there's consequences for actions. You know, it, yeah. was, it was ugly. Well, it's sad yeah. to hear that he uh, passed away. Was he in the 70s? Yeah. Mid-70s? 74, I think. Something like that. Hmm. Yeah. All, All right. right. Now we're going to do something fun. Yeah, we've got a uh, giveaway. Yep. Is this is what's going on. Uh, you can win tickets to see the Eagles. You know, I looked up ticket prices for that. There's a reason I'm not going. It's next Tuesday, April 10th. Yeah. Uh, by the way, these guys, the Eagles, mm -hmm. were the f they these essentially are the George Washingtons of jacked up ticket prices. Oh, okay. Ticket prices yeah. used to be reasonable, where it's you go get a ticket. For ten bucks, you can see your favorite band for fifteen, twenty dollars. Then here comes Don Henley and Glenn Fry, and they charge like seventy or eighty dollars back then. Thank goodness we're giving some away. But it's them. To, if you want to blame anybody, so this is a good deal, basically. Yeah. For and here's the what wins. we did: we went to our uh, Facebook page and we chose as we submitted and said, "Hey, you guys want a shot at winning something?" Catherine Dixon Tussey from Richmond, and she's going to attempt to answer a trivia question for two tickets to the show, which I think is a value of fifteen thousand dollars. So she has to answer this to win she's it. She's got to get oh, it right. Oh, pressure's on. Catherine, how are you, my dear? I am great. <laughs> All right. Uh, now, are you ready? Because uh, I can't imagine the pressure you must feel at this moment, knowing how expensive these Eagle tickets are. Did you say fifteen hundred or fifteen thousand? I forgot. I don't know. Either oh, way, okay. more, a lot more than Tom and I can afford. Yeah. Are you ready? <laughs> I think so. Okay. Yeah, so go ahead. It, it, this is a multiple choice question. Now, oh, geez. Here's what we want you to <laughs> figure this out. Who is the okay. famous tenor? that has joined the Eagles on this tour. Now, here are your options. Is it A, Jackson Brown? Is it B, James Taylor? Or is it C, Vince Gill? Oh, Vince Gill. You are correct. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah, who'd you think it was? I thought it was Jackson Brown. No, nah, everybody thought they would have asked no. Jackson wow. Brown. No, but it's okay. Vince Gill. He's well, congratulations. Out All right, Catherine. Well, you have fun at the show and, and you know, take a selfie. So Tom <laughs> and I will know what it was like to be living among we, the we rich. Can, we can live vicariously yeah. through you, Catherine. Thank All you. All right. Okay. Thanks, guys. All right, Catherine. Hang on the line. We'll take you get those tickets. Don't go anyplace. We appreciate you. Oh. All right. Well, we're we'll we'll on hold real quick. <laughs> All right, now, coming up next, we're going to meet uh, Lexington's brand-new police chief. Lawrence Weathers stops by. We'll talk with him in just a moment as Live with Lee and Haley continue in just a little bit.